Well, we all have our favorite pizzas and toppings, right? But did you ever order one with someone's picture on it? Well, the local baker is combining his love of food and art to raise money for a cause that's close to his heart. Meet Eric the Baker in this week's Street Stories. All right, so you're sitting there one day and you're deciding you're going to make these creative pizzas. People think you were crazy? Yes. Almost everybody. The canvas of an artist. All right, now we're all wrapped. Started off like really basic, just some pepperoni stripes and some olive stars. I just tried to cut these as small as possible. As simple and unique as a pizza. So it's going to be cheese, black pepper powder, and oil. Baker and artist Eric Palmieri of Deep Palmieri's in Johnston. Six hours from now it'll be done. Has been turning pies into art for more than five years. Well, I've done a bunch of Star Wars characters, a lot of the superheroes. I've done a lot of animals, um, lions, and uh, I'm doing penguins right here. I've done people's pets, a lot of portraits. Despite growing up in the family business, Palmieri he tells me he had other goals in mind. You know, I always wanted to be a vet and like, you know, work with dogs and cats and stuff, but um, you know, imagine being able to work with, you know, tigers and lions and stuff. And um, yeah, I always had this idea of being a zookeeper and getting to, you know, feed the giraffes and stuff. Now, Paul Mary is channeling his love for animals, art, and food into an opportunity to raise money for charities close to his heart. He plans to donate partial proceeds of his work this year to the Wildlife Conservation Society in New York City, helping exotic animals and endangered species. Red coloring stays on that side of the line. His latest project, the portrait of a penguin. Highlighting, shadows, shading. I'm gonna have to chop up a bunch of olives, um, sort of like I did in the corner there for all of the black parts of the penguins. Then I'll use grated cheese for the white parts. And I've got some orange and yellow bell peppers as well for the coloring around the, the head. And then I'll take the final photograph, which is what I will post online or sell as an NFT or whatever. What the non-fungible token does is it attaches something to that artwork that can't be changed, it can't be deleted, it can't be destroyed, it can't be altered in any way, shape, or form, and it makes that work unique. So now a digital artist can sell their work. They can say, this is a one-of-one one artwork. Um, you could make copies of it, but what you can't copy is the token. It's all online. This piece is gonna be sold sometime in April. So you're minting a cryptocurrency, um, and you're attaching artwork to it. What you're really buying is a unique digital collectible. Is there a pizza you want to make that you haven't done yet? Yes. I'm going to be making the biggest work of pizza art I've ever made. It's going to be on eight pans, so it's going to be twice this size. So I'm calling it a pizza mural. I'm super psyched about that. Yes, he is. Eric says it took six hours to create the penguin portrait. It's going to be auctioned off on April 25th. If you like more info on how to bid and other projects, just go to WPRI.com.